the moment you get a sprain on your leg while running or doing some exercise the mind immediately goes right the body rushes up to the tap and opens the tap running water till the last pin goes and there's no swelling at all no sprain at all everybody knows that when there is a burn in the in the kitchen and your hand gets burned or something you merely you go rush up and dip your hand into the water with the running water if tap is there with the running water and recently i came to know in this village when the honey bees start attacking and then you know the swelling will be there for at least a week it is too painful at least 24 hours but uh, one week is uh, there you rush up and put your uh, where it is bitten you apply the water no running water and becomes it softens and you can remove the fangs out and there's no swelling what <laughs> everybody knows they keep a bag of weed fly in every kitchen when they in case there's a stove burst or something or oh, fire burns or you just throw the uh, weed flower not a single scar on the body i used to do that when i used to cook for my kids sometimes burns oil and all falls i rush up what people do is they rush up and take it back till the last drop of pain is gone you dip it into the water this is the way of the culture of india every house does that every house has taught the children water they don't have to rush up to doubt smallest uh, burn the rush up city people rush up to the doctor <laughs> dip in water smallest sprain dip in water honey bee sting dip it into the water <laughs> the mind is buddha this mind is buddha the 30th story from the gateless gate from the book zen flesh zen bones written by paul ribs die by asked basho what is buddha basho said this mind is buddha <laughs> buddha means the enlightened buddha means the consciousness you look at a thing and then you say there's a brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra then there is a borrowed knowledge you look at a person <sighs> so beautiful you look at a flower and you try to divide the flower in different names then it's a borrowed knowledge but you know that is the flower you know it's a mango but you do not want to call it mango you can climb and pluck it when it's bitter ah that's a way of eating to clean up some of the worms from the stomach when it is ripe another way of eating but climbing up the tree creates a power in the body it has become a way of life when you see you don't you don't go out to the mango tree and says please one kilo is how much you just climb up <laughs> when you climb up that one kilo is lost the rate is gone at the same time you get the energy when you get the energy when you climb up then you eat it it digests so beautifully and it is enlightenment what is buddha and enlightened you become enlightened because of the taste yes anything you see you see a moment your hand is cut of course water immediately the intention is to put the hand into the mouth and suck the blood out suck the blood out you don't need any medicines here they put the yellow powder that is the turmeric powder <laughs> for anything i have turmeric but it stops the blood oozing out instantly it's it's healing basho said this mind is buddha instant <laughs> yes this mind is buddha means enlightened your mind is not aligned and enlightened now from where can the question come from where can you feel that your life you 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 are living in a borrowed world yes this mind is buddha this life is full of energy so you know when you get up the body automatically gets up if you don't put on your fan and the ac automatically sunrise you get up and the first thing you look into sunrise i power increases yes whole body this cancerous cells 40000 cancerous cells dies in the body because of the sunlight just entering into your body empty plain naked body yes and then you stretch it up which is called surya namaskar <laughs> you got the first energy charged that is called the battery charging everybody goes to guruji's to get a battery charge so much is to get a battery charge go to the mother and father once in a while to get a battery just sitting next to them nothing father mother is not going to teach you anything just sitting next to them listening to them then massaging their leg trimming their uh, nails combing the mom's hair giving a bath to dad or taking bath together you have got a battery charge you go there and you go <laughs> talk and eat and come out your battery is not charged the mind what is buddha that is the time you have to understand what is buddha 
this mind is Buddha, you're enlightened. Are you enlightened? Did you, have you examined? When you examine, once is enough. Then it becomes the roar of a thousand man warrior. Then you know, everyone walk in the house, the electrical plumbing, sanitary, mason and carpentry. You will never ever go to the electricity board because the mind is Buddha. The mind says, when there is so much sunlight, 365 days of Sun, uh, 365 days, 300 days of beautiful sunlight. Nowhere in the world you can get except in India. You can have the solar light running. When you move, don't touch the nature. When you are not in love with the nature, you go to the electricity board. They give you a bill every month with the wires which can create short circuit and kill you, burn down your houses and then no light. Whenever you want it, they just disconnect the electricity you don't get it in time but a solar beautiful this mind is buddha when your mind becomes enlightened conscious a mastery that's the first time you can understand you can walk like a man talk like a man you have the right to even ask a question you have the right even to enter uh, the right to enter the temple or masjid or Church, till then you have no right. The mind is Buddha. When rainwater comes, you know rain comes when it comes automatically. Because from childhood you have been a Buddha, enlightened, conscious with your mother and father. Yes, you have seen them. You loved them. And you know, before the rain comes, you have to clear the debris for the water, rainwater to fall and go to the beautiful pond. Yes, groundwater is recharged. Rainwater harvesting, you did it. Beautiful. So you will never cry during the summer time. There's no water. <laughs> what is going to deplete and we are going to die? You will die if you are not a Buddha, an enlightened being. Daibai asked Basho, what is Buddha? Basho said, this mind is Buddha. <laughs> if this mind is Buddha, you have got the right to go to the karate class or judo class or the sports academy or to the gymnasium or into the dance academy. Only if you have done your homework back here to clean the house. With the smallest broom, so the bend, you get your bending exercise beautiful, the stomach goes inside, the thighs become strong, the knees become strong, the neck becomes strong. When you are uh, brooming, when you are uh, uh, cleaning the whole house, when you broom it up, bending, where you have th thyroid problems, thyroid is the neck. When the neck is moving up and down, up you look and you clean up, down you look, you broom it. Which lady in the village has got a thyroid? Have you ever seen those of brooming and cleaning, wiping with the hand, not with the standing, wiping the floor with the hand? Never use washing machine, but wash your clothes. What the chaka chaka chaka, scrub it up, squeeze it up. You get a power in the hand, power in the hand, and then you take it out to sunlight. Sunlight enters into your body, dry it up. <laughs> That is that mind is Buddha, enlightened one. All others are just borrowed knowledge. You are living like a dead body. You are a deceased person in the house. Otherwise, this mind is Buddha. What is Buddha? This mind is Buddha. Don't you know? You can't enter the house without you cleaning. So in the olden days, the houses are built where they have the um, bathrooms outside. People come from outside. They go to the bathroom, take bath change the clothes and then only enter inside, yeah. But now, you see, the whole dirt, the whole corona deceased, which is uh, the dust and the dirt in the shirt and the pants and the saris, you just walk inside right into a bedroom and then you complain, you are sick, you are sick, you are sick. Yes, come out of that. Let us all together practice our Sanskrit at the moment. Anything is cut in the hand. Mm -hmm. And it's gone. And you put a little yellow powder, turmeric powder. This when the when you burn your hand, rush it into the water. Yes. When you fall down, you got a sprain, running water till the last pain is gone. Don't dip it and take it back. <laughs> Recently, honeybee attacked me also, and my uh, welder came into me. What good is he? Four in body, I, it has bitten me. Just I dipped it in water. <laughs> Deep in water, your body becomes soft and you can remove all the fangs out and there is nothing, no problem. Practice that together, we can become a beautiful place to live.